It is that time of the year when families send out holiday cards and they're eager to include a good <laughs> shot of all their family members with a big smile, dressed properly, you know, everyone, big, small, even the little furry ah, ones. And we recognize this beautiful right. family it's here. My family photos. And this one, oh, this is this year. Okay, so this is this year. Uh, Jackie Rutledge, who is no relation to me, but she's from Slumberland Photography, here with some tips for how to get the best out of your family for this photo season. And Jackie actually took those pictures. Yeah. I met her through Great my job. kids' school, mm -hmm. and I've had years of wonderful pictures. And I don't know how you get it because we were joking around, but <laughs> the first, this last time we took pictures, the boys kept jumping and showing their butts. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm never going to get a picture, and they were wonderful. <laughs> How'd so, you do it? Yeah, how'd you do it? <laughs> well, you're actually a pretty big key in that. The parent's attitude is the number one factor in getting a good shot. So as long as you let them play and be silly and you're willing to be silly with them, it really makes for a good photo. Okay, so let's kind of start at the top. You know, mm -hmm. when you're planning to get picture outfits. I always struggle with outfits. Like I, I, I see like online and people do the color theme or the all white mm -hmm. or the continuous color through. What do you suggest to people? Sure. Well, you could do anything from all matching to patterns and even plaids and florals together. It just kind of depends. I brought a bunch of examples today. This is all white shirts cute, together. Very, very cute. She yep. styled it in such a way that it looks great. Yeah, that does look With cute. the background. You can do neutrals, a variety of neutrals. But on the same color palette, right? Mm -hmm. I guess kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay, those are really cute. Yeah, and then this family chose a color, which in this case was pink and kind of carried it throughout the family in different prints and shirts and different ways like that. Okay. And then finally this one, this mom always does a great job mixing patterns and color and She's textures. She's really good at that, yeah. She does this every year and there's a plaid in there along with a floral and just bright colors and it works. Yeah, I like the way she has it broken up with the solid mm -hmm. colors in between to kind of make it work. I think it depends on your family's personality, yeah. honestly. Yeah, but so. also, it also depends on the setting because I'm noticing like these are some beautiful, beautiful kind of scenic settings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are just taking a holiday family photo yourself and you're not hiring someone, I would encourage you to get outdoors if possible. This time of year, there aren't a lot of leaves. I mean, this is a, a great yeah. setting at the <laughs> Botanic Garden. I mean, not everyone has this as right. their background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of times, you know, a month ago, the height of fall with all the colors is a great setting. But this time of year, even just an evergreen gathering of trees is a great spot to take your family. But you can do anything in your home. Yeah. This okay, is just yeah. window light from the home. Oh. And then sometimes I even have to get creative. This is just a city street. Oh, that's and cute. what matters is the subject really and not always just the setting. He's laughing, they're it's smiling. Laughing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cute. Yeah. Well, and I always struggle with lighting. Like, do you wait to take it later in the day when the sun is at, well, it's like three o'clock, or do you do it in the morning when the sun is brighter right after? Or do you just stay inside? Like, what is the tips for lighting? Well, honestly, an overcast day, which a lot of people, you know, become disappointed with, I think sometimes, but that really makes for the best photos because the sky is like a giant light box. Right. Yeah. This had a little bit more harsh light, but I just turned them to the back, you know, where the sun is to their back, and that provided a little shade on their faces. Oh, interesting. So I would have thought the opposite. So if you do it yeah. like this early in the morning, um, you know, even in an open area like that with the sun kind of highlighting the back of you, that would work too, as long as everybody's faces are, are visible. These last two are just um, with an overcast sky so you can see how the lighting it, it is makes perfect it even, it's as even what I find, yeah. and you know the family's faces are lit up so okay so we're also talking about people at home because obviously if you want the perfect shot you will hire someone sure. like yourself <laughs> right. but if you're, if you're doing this by yourself mm -hmm. are there some cameras that are better than others are cell phones okay what do you do yes cell phones have come a long way with their cameras so you could get a great shot you know I just got a new phone so the camera on it is amazing and you could do that if you wanted to set up a timer and these elements we just talked about should give you an idea of where to place it how to light everyone and now they have this thing possible. like with, with like portrait yeah. Mode yes. and all those yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah do, you can find so many tutorials online about how to use those settings and what do you have when the pet yeah, like th this is okay. so cute with the pet and so, you post him so well <laughs> so this is where a photographer or even someone else just taking your photo for you rather than you just doing yeah. it yourself it's impossible almost to get a pet to look at the camera without someone pushing a coaxing them. <laughs> if you are a family that has a dog, you know what it means to have the person in your family that the dog connects to. So I would encourage you to choose that person.
person Good to wrangle idea. the dog for the photo. I mean, look at this one. The kids are sitting there with their dog, so you know. Cute. This one, the girl in the middle was really timid, and I actually attempted to do the splits and fell and just made her laugh, and that's how I got the shot. So the, the biggest takeaway from today, I feel like, is just the attitude of the family. I know moms especially can get really stressed, stressed out. Like, about do family Sweating. Let's make this the best picture ever. We have to get this. And the kids feel that. So if you can just keep it light and fun and positive, the kids will really thrive and you'll get a great shot. Awesome, Jackie. Thank you so much. All the information for Slumberland Photography right there on your screen is the social media handles as well. We certainly appreciate it. We need that. Yes, we do. <laughs> and I'll be giving you a call. Right. All right. <laughs>